So once in a while you'll meet a really interesting young entrepreneur, uh, we got one here, but you'll also rarely meet somebody who builds on Foursquare and location. We meet that too. And here at the web, we're seeing some interesting entrepreneurs and we're gonna get into that right now with Foursquare Wi-Fi. So, uh, hi, uh, my name is Apostolos, but I go with APAS, my Twitter nickname, APAS. Um, I'm 18, I just started college in Vienna, Austria. I'm from Greece, and uh, I did a, a fan app called Foursquare Wi Fi. I've been blogging on tech and uh, web and startups since 2008 on my bilingual Greek and English, English blog. And <laughs> I've been featured in Greek newspapers, tech rents for the app, and all that cool stuff. So, yeah. Um, the app is called Foursquare Wi-Fi and I use Foursquare API to find and show you nearby venues with Wi-Fi and the password. Yeah. So let's say you're out in the city, just file the app and you get all nearby Foursquare venues which have Wi-Fi and you know the password already. This is really useful tips. because you come over to Europe or if you're in Europe and you go to the United States, yeah, exactly. you have to pay roaming fees on your I cell was, phone. I was in San Francisco in November for 10 days and I tested it because I'm based in Vienna, Austria for to start a college there computer science and it was freakingly awesome because I had Wi-Fi whenever wherever I could in every cafe or bar or whatever. It's awesome. Yeah. Here at Le Web in, in Europe, it's a really important conference with 3,500 people. Um, the, the theme this year is so low mo, oh, right? Yeah, Social, exactly. local, mo mobile. And you hit all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Almost. you very much. Well, you don't have quite the social, but... Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Maybe we'll add some social features like you can push you can add the tips uh, within the app. You just you just don't get old. You can add yeah. to. You can uh, so we're maybe add a, like a Twitter push or something like that. It's kind of social, yeah, but it's more location. It's like so social location awareness and everyday life hack. That's why uh, yeah. how I say it. I also like you because it's a simple app. Yeah, it, and it's it free. Yeah, it's and, free, yeah. but the, it shows that an entrepreneur doesn't need to build. Uh, some complex technology, yeah. you just need to have an idea that solves a need. Exactly. Right? And, and, and the need is I there. Agree. Yeah. <laughs> I need Wi Fi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so you're 18. That, yeah. That, that's pretty interesting. Uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg was, uh, I don't know, 18, 17 when he started Facebook. Yeah. And uh, so one thing about young people is they see something that other people don't because mm -hmm. I don't have time to learn a new thing. You know, my yeah. son, when he, he's 17, he plays games all day long and he, and he sees a world that I don't see. What are you seeing? In, and you're from Greece, you're not from yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. What are, you, what are you seeing in this new world of mobile and uh, location? I just see our lives will get better and better and better. That's, and that's the point of internet in the, at the end of the day. I, I love the internet. I love the, the old information that we got and it's not already all, uh, old information um, structured. So we need to do, uh, put work on that. But if we do it in a very beautiful way, we can help our lives a lot. And that's the point. I mean, I think that's the internet and the, the input of location and social to the internet uh, is uh, one of the best uh, things that we did as humankind. It's like, it, it's a bit exaggerated, but uh, that's my opinion. Yeah. You're also uh, touching on a, another trend, which is big data. Uh, the world is now tweeting 250 million times a day, yeah. right? And that number is doubling every, I don't know, and seven I, months. I just saw that yesterday, that US uh, Library Congress, something like that, uh, made a partnership with Twitter to make all public tweets uh, into the into the library archives. Yeah, since then, that's great. That's a great pool of information. But with these big databases, entrepreneurs like you are able mm -hmm. to see a new pattern, see some new idea in those databases. Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing that over and over and over again at the web. What what is it about this database world that excites you and? And what kinds of tools do you need to understand that world? Uh, I think we'll need APIs from like the big data pools, like Foursquare has all, all the venues open for you if you're a developer and Facebook and Twitter. So if these big um, hubs of data open their data and uh, lots of cool people out and out, out there in the world develop things, cool things that help us. When you're coding, what's on your screen? What, what tools are you using and how do you start finding these databases. Mm -hmm. what? And it's really minimalistic and it just 
one screen full of a, a very um, not um, colors that do not hit your eye, and it just you're you're more relaxed and you can code and you can focus on. Yeah. And it's a full screen view without anything else, without the top bar and Mac OS X, without nothing. It's just you and your code, and that's great. Um, What's the business like? Is there a business potential um, here for this? Yeah. It's uh, very useful yeah, for me actually, to find yeah. Wi-Fi. The app is free and I did it just for fun because I had the problem and I liked it and I had I, I knew how to solve it. Um, so the business plan maybe that it will do in the, fu in the future is that offline maps. So you're traveling, let's say, to London or here to the web. You can end up purchase uh, the map for Paris, like, I don't know, one buck, two bucks, not much. And uh, you can have offline all, your, all of the... 200 almost because I remember there are 200 venues in Paris uh, with Wi-Fi and the password, and that's that's the business plan. And also maybe like deal uh, doing like deals with um, local like Starbucks. So you, if you check in here, you get a, um, a discount or something like that. But that's, that's not going to happen, I think. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming on yeah. my show and showing I, it to me. It's really, really useful. And I'm I thank you. I appreciate it. For you um, where do we find you on the web? So my blog is apas.gr, A-P-A-S.gr. And I'm on Twitter at apas, again, A-P-A-S. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.